thought I'd come on here and talk about Josh Donaldson as Anthony Rendon has signed with the Angels today. It leaves Josh Donaldson as the premier uh, bat left on the free agent market. And although it has been reported that it's been a, our highest priority to re-sign the bringer of rain, it's becoming less and less likely in my mind that that's going to happen as much as I don't like it. Um, the bringer of rain is going to get bringer of dollars uh, with the enormity of these free agent contracts. These guys have already signed. Moustakis with the Reds, four years, $64 million, and Anthony Rendon, seven for two forty-five. Um, and they are much younger than Josh Donaldson. So although Josh Donaldson deserves to get paid, I am not comfortable with four four years, $100 plus million, and I feel like that's what it's going to take because uh, the market has been set and the bar is super, super high, and I'm just not comfortable with it, especially with Josh Donaldson's chronic injury history. I understand that the Braves need a middle-of-the-order bat um, pretty bad to go along with Ronald Acuna Jr., Ozzie Albies, Freddie Freeman, um, Travis Darno, and Dan V. Swanson. I understand that, but Josh investing a hundred plus million dollars into a guy that you're not sure uh, of of his health and the uncertainty of the DH coming to the National League is not coming this year, and it might come in 2021, but that's not confirmed yet either. So uh, I'm just a little scared and skeptical to do that. Especially, it's important to remember you have to play for the present and the future and getting hamstrung by that type of contract would uh, ruin a lot of the hard work that Alex Anthopoulos and even Cabalella have done throughout this rebuild and this winning window. But I do know one thing, you don't spend $82.5 million to revamp your bullpen to one of the most formidable in baseball. You don't add a veteran uh, lefty to top your rotation and Cole Hamels uh, and just stop. You don't do that. I say we probably look in the trade market. Like Chris Bryant's been bantied around a lot over the winter meetings. He has two years left of control. Um, Matt Chapman's another name that's been bantied around. I like him much better than Chris Bryant. That, both of them would take a King's Ransom, but Matt Chapman has four years of control and is the full package and is so much younger than Josh Donaldson. Um, but whatever we do do, I know that we will not stop. We will get a middle of the order back. I don't know where it's going to come from. Alex Anthopoulos probably is doing something with a player or players that we haven't even heard discussed. So I am not worried. In AA, I trust. I love Josh Donaldson. He deserves to get paid. I just hope it's not with the Nationals because I couldn't stomach that, go to the Rangers, and uh, be a DH and have fun. And best of luck to you. And if, if you do sign here, I'm going to be super happy. I just hope we don't overpay.